He's Phoebe and he lives in Perth Making super videos for all his work His channel is great He's a good mate with Bella Feral Southern Hands G'day beer lovers It's our old mate again here VB Ed ah. G'day beer lovers In this video I'm going to be talking about clothing that are worn by fucking retards now the first type of clothing I want to talk about is ripped and torn denim that is worn by women. Now women, they pay top dollar to buy supposed brand new designer denim clothing and it's sold to them ripped and torn. Now this type of clothing makes women look poor and broke and I just don't fucking get it. The only thing appealing about this type of fucking clothing is that if you accidentally tear it or stain it or put a hole in it, it only adds to its fucking value. Now in my opinion, this type of clothing looks like reject clothing, you know, and it's produced in these Asian sweatshops. These Asians get paid very little for it. And it's probably marked up by over 100% by these Western clothing retailers. Retard women are getting fucking ripped off. Big time. Now the thing is, when clothing has a tear in it, the tears only get bigger over time. And the, re the wearer reveals more and more flesh. Maybe this is its fucking appeal to women. You know, they just want to show a bit more flesh. Yeah. My understanding is that this type of clothing is constantly being stitched and repaired to prolong its life. Now, what is the fucking sense in that? Seriously. The women that wear these overpriced rags make tramps and homeless people look very well dressed in comparison. These fucking women that wear all this fucking torn clothing, they look like a bunch of fucking losers. They're losers. They're just losers. I see nothing appealing about women who wear this type of clothing. <laughs> On second thoughts, some of it does look good, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> I see a business opportunity here. Going to the third world buying up all these used clothes from manual labourers, giving them a good old wash, and then selling them here in Australia as high fashion. <laughs> now, the second type of retard clothing I want to talk about is a certain look that men like to have. It's called sagging. Now, sagging. Now that is the wearing of one's pants around the hips. So they sag down and they bunch up at the ankles. And men just walk around showing off their SpongeBob underpants. <laughs> I just don't bloody get it. These guys must think they look so fucking hot and tough. But how on earth do they expect to win a fisty fight with their trousers hanging half off down their legs? They look like a bunch of losers. They're losers. They're just losers. <laughs> As I understand things, based on some research I've done, the sagging look started in US jails to signify that you were another prisoner's bitch. Okay? Punks were forced to wear their pants this way so it would be easier for their masters to pull down their pants and to basically butt fuck them. Okay? And somehow, this became a fashion trend. I don't suppose that the lads or the guys on the street these days are aware that they are indicating that they are gay and are wanting a bit of action when they dress this way. Why do these losers do this? I don't know. I think it's because they like the idea of tripping down stairs on a regular basis. You know, the lower they are, uh, past the waist, that means you've got more chance of falling down the stairs and damaging your brain and making you more retarded in the process. <laughs> I just don't get it, guys. I must be getting fucking old. <laughs>